Welcome back to the Comics History Guy comic book review. Today we're going to take a look at Superman slash Wonder Woman number 8, which is the second chapter of the Superman Doomed miniseries. The first book was Superman Doomed, which we reviewed earlier. So the, taking a look at this book, this is the uh, title where Superman and Wonder Woman are having a relationship. Lois is on the sidelines. That's not news. Um... But a couple of things I want to specifically highlight about this book. Um, one, the artwork by Tony Daniel um, is excellent. Uh, the colors are leap out at you. The definitions are very good. You can easily tell who is who, though Lois and Diana Prince look a little bit alike, though Lois is, of course, a lot shorter. Um, you know, these dark-haired beauties that Superman seems to be attracted to. Um, the story is by Char Charles Sewell. The artwork is by Tony Daniel. And overall, um, I was impressed by the first Superman Doomed story. This is the second one. I'm also impressed by the story. And frankly, you know, this is the way Wonder Woman is supposed to look. I'll give you some more examples. And again, uh, if you're paying attention to any of the news about the uh, new Batman Superman movie, uh, Justice Begins, and Gal Gadot, the rather slender actress who is uh, going to portray Wonder Woman makes you wonder how she's going to fill those um, shoes. So anyway, more about that later. Let's take a look at the book. Again, we avoid major spoilers as much as possible. This is the uh, this is the page talking about, you know, things that came before. Smallville's quarantine, bad stuff happened. Superman supposedly killed Doomsday, but something happened. And it's, again, I don't think it's any secret given the cover story and the uh, title here of Infected, that he's got something bad going on. So, no real spoilers there. Again, take a look at this artwork. I mean, the facial expressions of the characters in this book are very good. And one of the things I like about a good comic book and a good story is the character relationships and character development. Do the characters fit what we expect of them? Okay, so... Here is Diana Prince knocking on Clark's door. Remember, they're in a relationship. Oh, she's got a key. Mm, it's the 21st century. And Superman, being not in his normal state, has made a mess of things. I don't think this is the typical, typical Kryptonian bachelor pad. So, again, the eyes are just well, so well done in this book. And, you know, Superman is having issues... Um, again, the characters involved here, um, Cat Grant is partners with Clark Kent in a uh, um, online publication. And the funny thing about this book is, um, you know, Superman and Wonder Woman have a relationship, but also Clark and Diana have a relationship. And here, Diana's coming to talk to Cat Grant and saying, you know, hi, I'm, by the way, I'm Clark's girlfriend. And it was like, you know, his girlfriend? So, and talking about how Clark is not acting normal because of this little problem he has. Obviously, Kat's not being told of that. So, again, without giving a whole lot of stuff here, take a quick look at the art. Again, the eyes have it. And Superman is um, not in good shape. And here's Lois, by the way. Um, again, notice the dark hair. Um, and Dinah Prince is coming to see what's going on here. And... more of the artwork and again this is as much a wonder woman book as it is a superman book we see more of her in this than um otherwise and of course batman good friend to both pops in there's alfred in the corner and one of the best shots of this entire book here is when wonder woman jumps onto the bat plane and says, batman we need to talk yes um if a woman jumps onto your plane and is able to talk to you while the wind is streaming by, she's probably powerful enough to, uh, you will listen to her. So long story short, Batman does the detective thing, figures out Superman has a major problem. Wonder Woman goes to try and help him. And I don't know if this is a criticism or, or just an observation, but the way Superman is acting with in his uh, doomsday infected role here, um, I mean, it's, I'm thinking the Hulk. He looks like the Hulk. He's talking like the Hulk. He's almost almost want to say, you know, Superman smash. So 
he doesn't quite go that way. But again, that could be the Hulk, even the down to the pants. Come on, oh, if they were more purplish. But again, the artwork, the characterizations, and I'm not giving you word, uh, word for word, but the relationship piece is huge here, as you can see. And again, the artwork is fantastic. And then here's an ad for Superman number 32, which was uh, also in the previous book. Uh, so again, this is a, if you're a fan of Superman or of Wonder Woman, or of course you're following the Doom storyline, this is a good book. I really enjoyed it. Again, I read this uh, yesterday and then uh, flipped through it again here prior to the review. I'm just struck again by the fantastic art. I am uh, becoming a huge Tony Daniel fan. Um, and, you know, we also have to mention the, the other uh, creators here. Um, Matt Banning and Sandu Floria did the inks. Colors by Tomei More. I probably killed that first name. And if you pay attention, and they're covered by Tony Daniel and to Tomi Mori. If you pay attention to the news, DC is also um, changing how they pay their, their creators. So the colorists uh, are also going to be making quite a bit more money, it sounds like. And there's a different formula. We might address that in a future uh, review, just of you know how the DC is going through a lot of changes right now. But this is a good book. I highly encourage you to pick it up if you're a fan of either of these characters or you're following this storyline. Or if you just want to see a really good story, really good art, and one woman, frankly, the way she should be. One of the more interesting lines, by the way, so I wasn't going to talk about the specific lines, but um, Superman is talking here about her accent. Remember, she's from a foreign land, uh, Amazon Island, Thrymskia. And the actress playing Wonder Woman in the upcoming movie is an Israeli uh, citizen who has an accent, most likely, uh, in the movie. So perhaps they're preparing the movie viewers slash comic readers for, oh, reminder, one woman is a foreigner uh, in this country and as much an alien as Superman is in, in a way, um, which is a point he makes, but not quite the same. Anyway, uh, I think they're trying to build a connection between the character here and the woman who will portray the character Wonder Woman in the upcoming movie. We'll pay attention to future uh, comics and see if they make more connections like that or if uh, I'm just overreaching. We'll see. But that's the little detail that is, is again, the characterizations, the personalities. This is her boyfriend, her lover, whatever you want to call it, and he knows her and what triggers her accent to be thicker, um, which, I mean, they're people. Well, they're comic book people, but they're people. So check it out. Uh, we'll take a look at the third installment of Superman Doom storyline, uh, and we'll get back to you. So, uh, pick this book up. It's worth reading, uh, and worth collecting. All right. Thank you. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notifications when we upload everything else. Thank you. Bye.